a huge round of applause for the patriotic John Bassett. It's an eagle. Thank you. This fellow's a uh, little produce knowledge for you. I found out recently watermelons can actually serve as a natural form of Viagra to enhance the male libido. Yeah, yeah. So I've just been fucking watermelons all week. <laughs> You guys eat watermelon when you're a kid? Yeah. I miss being a kid, don't you? It's just so much better. Things are different. Life was different. Porn was different. You know? When I was a kid, I had one porno. It was a VHS copy of a VHS copy of a half-scrambled version of Lola Takes It All. Dubbed in Spanish. I didn't know what I was looking at, I didn't know what I was seeing, it was just a kaleidoscope of wieners and titties and idios mios. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. I saw a nipple, I ejaculated, and I went to bed. That's what you do with scrambled porn. <laughs> Would you guys hide it though? The, the beauty of porn when your kid was hiding it though. The classic trick is taking the original tape, the porn, putting it in a regular movie box. Would you guys do that? No, maybe. <laughs> but I, I took it one step further. I would hide in the attic behind like Christmas ornaments and stuff, and then I'd get a new porno and forget about that one, and then December would call, come around, and I would just hear my dad in the attic go, All oh, right, point break! <laughs> and, and my parents are really religious and kind of strict. This is bad getting caught with porn when you're you know, 12, 13 years old. So I cut them off at the past, I explained to him that, you know, what it actually is, and he wasn't even mad that it was porn, he was mad that he couldn't watch Point Break. <laughs> you know, understandable. You know? Fucking drunk enough, I'm jacking off to Point Break. Johnny Utah. You got it. <laughs> um, I'd like to do this next joke with no hands. So, uh, I was auditioning to do some comedy a few weeks ago on a cruise ship, and um, I admit I have a pretty filthy mouth, and the lady giving the audition said, okay, John, uh, let me hear a clean joke. I said, okay, uh, how do you wash a baby? She said, I don't know. I said, I don't know either. Mine drown. <laughs> From, uh, I'm from the USA, obviously, but I'm from Chicago, originally. Any Chicagoans? Yeah? Nobody? Somebody? I love going back. I have a great time there, but I get really bad advice on dating from my uncles. I can't take any of them seriously, because they're all divorced, they all have mustaches, and they all wear sweatsuits to church. I used to take someone like that seriously, you know? The last time we were hanging out, I was hanging out with my Uncle Skip. He kind of looks like Mike Ditka with Down Syndrome. <laughs> Just a sprinkling. <laughs> We're hanging out and he says, John, the key to a good woman is a combination of seven things. One, she can barbecue. Two, she can drink as much as you. Three, she's already a league bowler. Four, she can cut her own hair. Five, she has an extensive knowledge of cheese. Six, she owns her own riding lawnmower. And seven, she knows how to build a deck. <laughs> Uncle Skip, do you know what kind of women I'm going to find? Are those are the qualities I'm looking for? Lesbians. <laughs> Not like the hot, fantasy, playboy lesbians. I'm talking about women who actually look like my Uncle Skip. <laughs> Seriously, ladies, you should only have one mustache. It should be above your vagina. <laughs> I didn't mean to look at you there. I don't. You seem like a very well-groomed lady. I don't Unless you want some grooming advice. I maybe mean, suggest the Raleigh fingers. Just curl up. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Tom Selleck, a little, little bush here, drives a Ferrari. <laughs> and uh, my personal favorite, the Hitler. Just straight down the middle, drives a Mercedes. <laughs> uh, what, I, what I realize is this joke makes no sense because pubic hair cannot drive. <laughs> I know that much is true. So before I leave, I'll tell a little quick story. I was hanging out with a buddy of mine, I know him forever, and uh, he came out of the closet and told me he was gay. Which is fine. It's America. Fuck whoever you want. You can fuck this eagle if he wants to. <laughs> But then it's fine, I'm very open-minded, I don't give a shit, he's my friend, but we were hanging out the other day, got a little too drunk, and he tried to kiss me. And ever since I knocked him out, I can't get a hold of him. <laughs> I tried writing, tried calling, and I'm thinking, I fancy myself a poet. I figure, I'm gonna write him a poem to express how I feel about our friendship. I'd like to read it to you guys before I leave. You wanna hear it? Yeah. 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 I'll do this one with no hands as well. All right. This poem is called Thanks But No Thanks. <laughs> we talk all night until the sun comes up. Every time that we drink, you're the first to fill my cup. <laughs> You'd walk to the ends to make sure we have fun. But Frank, I like pussy, and you don't have one. 